Tesla believed in the luminiferous ether, so why don't we? Let's start with a little history. Ever since ancient Greece, people like Aristotle described ether as the fifth element, earth, air, water, fire, ether. Over time, different philosophers and physicists expanded on this idea. Descartes said that space was filled with tiny vortices of subtle energy that influenced planetary motion and light. Here's where things get tricky. In 1801, the double slit experiment showed that light acts as a wave and waves need a medium to go through. So everybody was like, oh, the ether definitely exists. But then Einstein came around with his special theory of relativity and said that electromagnetism or light doesn't need a medium to travel through. So just like modern scientists are want to do, they threw the entire baby out with the bathwater. But just because light doesn't need a medium to travel through doesn't mean that the ether itself doesn't exist. And Tesla agreed with this. Here's a quote from our man Tesla. All perceptible matter comes from a primary substance of a tenuity beyond conception, filling all space, the akasha, or luminiferous ether, which is acted upon by the life-giving prana or creative force calling into existence in never-ending cycles, all things and phenomena. So Tesla was deeply trained in Sanskrit principles and he was applying them to modern physics and he was using concepts of how our consciousness interacts with our material and physical reality to say, hey, the ether is a real thing. And Tesla wasn't concerned about electromagnetism. He was more interested in longitudinal waves or scalar waves, which go kind of in a different direction than electromagnetism and which may or may not need the ether. So why does this matter? Because all of our modern science might be limited based on a logical fallacy around electromagnetism. Even when all of physics decided to go in the mainstream direction of forgetting about ether, Tesla did not. He stood by that theory because he felt like it explained certain things. What do you think? 